What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crashlander Survival, and today we're going to actually do some farm expansion. We've got a few side quests left to do, but uh, all the side quests we have pretty much require us to do some extensive farming. So we're going to try and expand the farm a little bit, and to do that we're going to need to get some beets and carrots, because we can grow beets and carrots and uh, trade them at bill for more soil plots. Uh, what can we actually... I think we can make soil plots as well. I'm pretty sure we make them at the chemistry station. Yeah, we do, but they take sand. So we could make a bunch of soil. Maybe I should make a bunch of soil right now. We did get a little bit of stone from the last adventure when we were out. Did we? I thought we did. Yeah, we got a little bit of stone here. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to convert the stone into sand. We're going to make as much sand as we can. And then we're going to convert that sand into soil just so we can maximize our initial crop yield. And there we go. It's not a lot. And of course, we need glass. Glass is the other, like, huge thing. Again, it's just stone, right? So stone is big, really the big issue that we're lacking. Uh, we need stone to make sand. And then, you know, sand, we can make glass. Glass, we can make lights. And lights, we can, you know, light up the world. And, uh, you know, just make everything so much better. For now, we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to get some soil, get some crops going, and we'll deal with that. And maybe we could trade for sand somewhere, actually, or trade for stone. That might... I actually should check my list, although my list is out of date. So I'll have to see if someone's got it. But yeah, there might be a way to trade for some sand. That would actually be super, super convenient. And, uh, and then, of course, we could actually get more glass that way. Or maybe we could trade for glass. We'll have to check at Bill's when we go there. But either way, let's just do this that's just a lot of soil that's perfect and yeah we still have so much fertilizer you know what where is all that fertilizer it's all the fertilizer we got from raiding the hq i think that's it it was just 60 so we're gonna use that when we're growing our crops and just try and really basically maximize our entire farm today and actually build the farm to its full size of 240 crop plots that would be super super useful grab the soil, put that down, and everything's going to be great. Of course, the next big thing we got to do is build ourselves a refining vehicle with, like, these three parts here. You can see with the massive drill and the collector and the refinery. We, of course, got a second collector and a re second refinery in the, uh, in the last episode, and, you know, I've just got them still in my inventory here. I don't really want to necessarily use those because it's just going to be really, really big. So, obviously, this is still going to be big as is. But uh, I'd like to make a relatively small refining vehicle just so we can maneuver through the tight spaces and deal with the rocks and uh, all that stuff. So let's grab the rest of this soil. I think that's it. That's done. That's done. Nothing else in here. Yeah, that's good. All right, now let's head down to the farm. Of course, we're going to have to reinforce this. So we don't have metal three, but what I'll do for now is just reinforce it with like a metal one wall and maybe some wood because we have just an excess of wood. So, you know, that should be okay. But there we go. That's, that's, this is not a lot of soil. It's unbelievable. A lot of people are saying, too, I should craft soil because it's easier to craft it than to trade for it. But my thought is that, like, sand is sort of the only resource that we're struggling with right now. And I know that's because I haven't built a refining vehicle yet. And I got to get refining more stone. And that's, that's fine and everything. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the one resource that I think if we can just trade for soil, it's just going to be a lot easier. So, we're going to start by just growing literally, like, a few, just a ton of beets. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no, just put the whole thing down. That's that's what we wanted to do. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grow a ton of beets and then a ton of carrots. And then we're just going to go to Bill's every day with our full haul and trade them and see what Bill says. So that'll be all the beets we do. That was 20 of them. And then we'll do, I don't know how many this is going to be, another 20 carrots. I actually don't even know how much of each we need. So let's just do this whole outer ring with carrots there the raid is starting of course we don't have guns so we're going to be making some relatively oh oh i'm actually out of carrots okay perfect we're going to be making some relatively large raids here and we don't have guns to actually do anything about it so that's going to be kind of interesting as well but there we go turn that on get the watering going nice did it miss one it did it's not always, it's not always perfectly accurate. It's kind of high up. A lot of people were like, too, uh, they were like, Cod, I can't believe you. Oh my god, this sucks. No way. Wow, I can't believe that. Are you serious? Well, that's unfortunate. This is a cool phenomenon that happens in Scrap Mechanic. Um, as far as I know, the raids happen based on, like, the tile chunks. So if you have a farm that's split across two chunks, like, like we have here... We're going to have two raids, technically. They'll ha they'll spawn at the same time. This actually might be better for us in the long run, though, because what it means is, like, 
the calculation of this raid is based on all the crops on this chunk, and then the calculation of this raid is based on all the crops on this chunk. So theoretically, when we get into like more advanced crops, it'll be two smaller raids rather than like one large one. They won't all calculate together. But I honestly don't know if this is better or worse. Um, either way, it just sort of happens. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Of oh, I forgot to turn on the water. That's right. I gotta go turn on the water. You can't can't run this without water. But yeah, interesting that this is across two chunks. I mean, nothing we can do about it. I'm not gonna move the whole base or anything like that. Just sort of the way it goes. Let's get this water pumping. You pumping? You're good. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, kind of interesting this happened. I never noticed that before. This is actually split across two chunks. That's sort of funny. Kind of kind of weird that that worked out that way. Uh, good news is, though, we can kill bears with a uh, with a sword. So if we do get bears that spawn... Yeah, no, we, 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 need to, we need to let that fill up. All right, I'm going to go fertilize all these crops. There we just spray them all with the fertilizer. Get all that growing as fast as possible giant waste of fertilizer but no big deal and then yeah i want to build a refining vehicle at some point here pretty soon but i just felt like it was super important to get crops for you know a couple reasons one we haven't really done too much farming in this playthrough yet and farming is sort of a critical point of scrap mechanic survival it's really important to get a lot of farming done and two uh you know we have to finish the rest of the side quests and like I said, the rest of the side quests pretty much require us to just farm a whole ton of stuff. And if we get guns, we're going to need ammo. And the biggest source of ammo is potatoes. And of course, that means we're going to have to grow a lot of potatoes, um, which is interesting. It's going to be sort of neat. I don't know how the bear claws, you know, factor into all that. We got these bear claws in the last episode, um, these things. And it says they can be used as ammo. Like, see, can be used as ammo in some cases. So I don't, I don't really know how that factors in. We'll have to figure that out later. But in the meantime, let's grab some wood. So let's grab all this wood. Might as well. Do we have... I should have more wood than just... Yeah, I got tons of wood. All right, we're going to grab lots of wood. We're going to grab some metal as well. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do is actually do an inner layer of metal too. I have so much wood. And then like two layers of wood around the outside. That's probably the smartest way to do it for now. Eventually, we're just going to want to make it a whole metal three wall because that'll be basically invincible from whatever spawns and comes at us. But uh, let's start with something like this. There, that should be that should be plenty tall. And then we're gonna just fight it around the outside. I wanna make sure it's tall enough for bears. I don't actually know if the bears are gonna be uh, able to break. You know what, I might run out of metal now that I think about it, if I make it this tall. Defending this is gonna be a pain in the butt. I had a few people comment and like, um, I had a few messages on my Discord as well that were saying, you know, you should use one of those, like, buzzsaw defenses where we just put a bunch of saw blades spinning around the outside. That works. Like, you know, I don't know if it'll repel the enemies the same way it used to, but, like, with the old haybots and stuff, you could just repel them. They wouldn't want to go near saw blades. So if you had a bunch of spinning saw blades, you could sort of protect your entire crop field in that way, which is actually a really, really good idea. Uh, so we might have to do that. I was also thinking of, like, the piston crusher method, where you just have pistons that, like, push down from above, and they crush everything that comes close to the wall, because that used to re work really well. Not exactly sure, again, if that works. Wolves seem to get crushed, no problem. Bears don't really get crushed at all, so I'm not really sure if that actually can work or not. And then, of course, my method, what I was thinking, is just to really just have spud guns that just shoot from, like, you know, above. We could honestly make, like, a ring of spud guns that just aim straight down. Or even spun guns just shoot along the sides. Um, but I honestly don't mind defending crops myself either. It's not really a huge deal to have to fight off raids. Especially because you're not growing crops like 24-7. If we were growing crops all the time, an automatic defense might be a little more beneficial. But we'll see. I mean, you know, you guys can let me know in the comments down below what, what you think would be the best, you know, method to, uh, to get this defended with. But I'm thinking the crushers... Piston Crushers is probably going to be one of the most effective ways, or just, you know, a whole ton of saw blades. Honestly, when Cosmo and I built a huge wall, we didn't even have, like, a complete wall around the outside. We really just had a fence when we did our massive farm on the co-op playthrough. We had a Metal 3 fence, but it was just, like, a, a beam in the middle just to stop the movement of the enemies so they couldn't actually get through it. And, of course, they tried to attack the Metal 3. Sometimes they would break it, but it just was so rare they would never be able to make themselves a hole big enough to get in. Uh, even if we were farming a whole ton of crops. So that's probably the, the idea to do this, you know, like make this wooden wall on the outside and then put a tiny little fence on the inside that's just like a thin beam of metal three. So if they do happen to break through two layers of wood, 
then they've got to get through that one thin layer of metal three that blocks their entire movement and then on top of that we also need to get a lot more ember uh to, to turn it into metal three uh the raid is gonna come here so i'm just gonna i guess we're just gonna stay you know what i'm gonna go get more wood should be fine honestly get more wood get the rest of that metal 13 seconds left we'll be okay doesn't matter one second three seconds yeah we're fine doesn't matter uh, 200 metal nice more wood perfect Can i make more metal my crops are under attack that's fine my crop where what wolves wolves okay there's two of you cowabunga do oh no that wasn't good oh that was really bad oh this is this is a bad idea okay wait there's a cat bulls what bulls attack on raids what is this okay i was not expecting i thought it was gonna be wolves and bears not bulls yeah look he can the wolf can slowly kill the wood but that's all he can do i was not expecting bulls on raids okay okay so it was like five wolves and, a, and two bulls this is so weird what are you doing can you can you oh no i'm gonna die i'm gonna actually die to a i died to a bull are you serious? Unbelievable. All right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're we're spawn up here. Not enough people sleeping. What? It's fine. Oh wow, the crops grew super quick. All right. Excuse me. Hi, Mr. Bull. Oh, this is sick. Oh, Ugh, thought I could stay up on the wall without him hitting me. Yeah, get wrecked. I can't believe bulls attack you. That's so funny. I did not think it was going to be bulls. I thought it was going to be just wolves and bears. I didn't realize they actually use bulls. So that means that bears are probably like the red bot equivalent. And then bulls are probably the hay bot equivalent or something. I don't, I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh god, I'm going to die. Come on, leave me alone, man. Let me just drink my milk. Please, let me just drink my milkshake. Okay, we're good. Over here, we're good. They, they didn't even do any like damage to the wall on this side at all. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, any, oh, oh, a little, oh no. Oh, let me patch, oh, there we go. What will I ever do with those, like, seven wood blocks you destroyed? Come here, bull. Go away. Screw you, man. Nice. Easy, oh, right, free steaks. That's super good, because we can turn those steaks into food. All right, that was it, right? First raid, done. Perfect, let's grab all the crops we can. This is going to be super. I'm so glad, too, we don't have to convert to fruit crates to trade with people. That was the biggest thing in survival is, like, you have to go to the packing stations, turn your fruit into, like, the fruit crates, and then load the super heavy fruit crates onto your vehicle, and then take those over to the trader. And that was just... That was a process. Like, it was it was a really, really intense process to get all that done. Whereas, uh, you know, with this setup, we don't have to actually do that. Am I honestly... No more metal? Okay. But yeah, with this setup, we don't have to do that. We can actually just go and, uh, you know, grab our grab our crops right off the field and then just sell them to Bill or what, or whoever, and they'll just take them as crops, which is super convenient. I'm going to just dump some inventory real quick. I'm just going to get rid of all this extra metal and stuff. We'll keep the wood because that's what we're going to repair the wall with. Might as well use this to make walk stakes. There we go. Make ourselves some meat. Uh, got some sun shakes still. We're almost out of food, too, actually. I'm getting to the point. Wait, I got the recipes for burgers and stuff, too, now, right? Yeah, pizza burger and veggie burger. Collect that. Thank you for the walk steak. So this takes tomatoes and broccoli. See, veggie burgers are where it's at. That's really, like, the easiest thing. This takes pizza slices. Oh, but you can make a pizza. And then you cut the pizza into two slices. Oh, two slices, two wok patties, and a french fry. Hmm... I feel like it's I feel like it's easier to fill this. Fills up all your meters to the max. Fills up all your meters to the max. Like they both fill your meters to the max. So there's no difference between a veggie burger and a pizza burger. Which except for what it takes to make them. A pizza's wok steak, tomato, wok milk, and water. Okay. And then you would also need so you'd need two wok steaks, basically, because you'd also need a wok steak to make two patties. That makes one burger. So you'd need that, but then one pizza makes two. So you need one and a half. I feel like it's so much easier to just make veggie burgers, 100%. Grow, like, four different crops, boom, done. Whereas with this, you need to grow potatoes, 
Yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be easier to make veggie burgers. So that's what we gotta get on. Do I have broccoli seeds is the next question. I do. We could grow some broccoli seeds. Look at that. We're gonna have to actually make ourselves a proper farming space too. Cause like, well, I guess we have space now behind the wall. I'll have to put some chests down here for storing like maybe up here or something. I want them on like a piston so they can retract up away from danger when raids come. But yeah, we should have a piston that deploys down and has all our fruit chests on it so we can, you know, grab ourselves uh, whatever we want. We can store the fruits there and store all the seeds and stuff like that. And then just, uh, you know, grab whatever we need, send them back up on the piston into the base. And then that way they're uh, they're out of harm's way is probably the best thing to do. But uh, let's go to Bill's. Going to need more gas as well. I think Bill trades for some gas. I'm not sure how much uh, how much that costs, but let's just see how much soil we can get for this harvest. Alrighty, Bill. Nice shed, Bill. Who built that for you? Looks pretty good. How you doing? What's up? Is there something I can do for you? Oh, you still have a quest? Kill four bears. Oh. 30 glue? Oh my god. That's a lot of glue. Uh, no, I don't- I don't need to kill bears for you just yet, Bill. I got other quests to do. Um, Bill! Soil. Need coal and carrots. Okay, coal, beets. Gotcha. I'm gonna trade a bunch of this. A lot of coal. Done. Get me some soil. Done. How much did that get me? 12 more soil. That was not a lot, Bill. It was not a lot of soil. It's a lot of coal, though, but not a lot of soil. Wait, so which one gives me the coal? It's- it's the beets that gives me the coal. Okay. And then it's the carrots that gives me the soil. Alright, so we're gonna need more carrots than beets. Um, what does it take to get the rest of the stuff? I have tomatoes. I have potatoes. I don't have cotton. We need wok steaks, copper. Alright, and tomatoes. Bananas, I think I have some bananas. I don't have blueberries. Need oranges. Oranges need tomatoes and- okay, we just need like basically to grow. Alright, well we'll do that another time. Honestly, getting all the crops, that's gonna be a pretty easy thing to do. We'll just have to grow a variety of everything and then come to build with a bunch of copper and that. And I think it was, what is it, Mark or something at the HQ that actually trades for copper now? Maybe it's Mark or it's Justin. I'm pretty sure it's Mark. Maybe it's Justin. I don't know. It's one of them that trades for copper. So we'll be able to get all that in one straight shot. Not a big deal. And uh, get all that done. Because we'll definitely need all the crops. But that's a future plan. In the meantime, we're just going to keep expanding the farm. But honestly, I only got 12 soil plots. And we need like 240. So, this might take a while. And then we still haven't even done, like, anything with the base. I built a platform. It's great. It's wonderful. Have all our crafting stations. Need all the inventory set up, all the crafting done in a loop. Like, all the stations should have the, the vacuum pipes hooked up to them so we don't have to do this weird chest management stuff. I just want, like, one row of chests that has all the chests in them. And then, yeah, we have lots of batteries. But yeah, I just want one row of chests with all of our chests, you know, everything there. We don't have to worry about trying to figure out, you know, is it in this chest or is it in that? It's just all in one spot, right? That would be so much more convenient. And, uh, okay, we'll put that there. Just dump that. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, life is a bit disorganized right now at the, uh, the old Con Casa. And so we've, uh, we've got a kind of deal with the fact that everything is just everywhere and it's all a, a really big mess all right raids here uh oh apparently i got hit off that it's four wolves and a cow and a bull again um anyone anyone on this side a couple wolves and a bull it's really just wolves and bulls all right i don't think they can honestly get through the two layers of wood the thing is like they can kill one block at a time, which is fine. I'm gonna die again, because I suck at, at, at baiting these guys. Come here, back up. You gotta, like, kite them away. But yeah, they can kill one block at a time, but they have to make a hole that's actually big enough for them to get through, which I don't think they can just do on their own. You give me a steak? No. Where are you? Come here. Come on. I need guns. Guns would be great. I also should probably collect the pelt, but honestly, I have so much pelt. And then you can turn it into cotton, I know, but, like... Like, yeah, look at how much these guys are attacking, but, like, not even, still not even a hole big enough for a single one of them to get through, despite all of that. So, it just would take them forever. If you made only, like, a little single block fence, then maybe you'd have a problem. I'm gonna die. I'm, yeah, I'm dead. The Walking Dead achievement. Okay, interesting. Is that just die a bunch of times? It's probably what that, oh, nice, I forgot I put my truck down here. This is so much better. There we go. Excuse me. Die. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, these raids are great. Done. Next. Nice. Easy. Take all this. 
perfect. Another raid completed. I guess I'll grab all this wolf pelt. Might as well. We're gonna collect so much wolf pelt, like, honestly. I probably don't even need cotton seeds. Like, I'm gonna get them anyway, because I'm sort of a completionist, and I want to make sure I have all of the seeds, and, uh... Eventually, I want to get, like, 240 of each seed, so no matter what crop we're growing, we can grow the entire field of that crop. But, uh, the wolf pelt, you can convert to cotton, and it really just means you don't need cotton ever. You just kill a bunch of wolves, and then you just convert it. Opponent kits and carrot seeds? Nice. What a good chest. Love the way the base looks. But yeah, this is actually, this is actually super easy to deal with these raids. I'm kind of a big fan of it, other than the fact that I keep dying, but... That's just, you know, sort of a skill issue, not really a raid issue. What's up, Bill? Bill, I could fit your whole house on my truck and then, like, and then go away with it. Yeah, we, we could literally put your whole house on the truck. All right, let's trade for that. We need more coal. Let's just get as much of that as we can, get as much of this as we can. Oh, I'm out of coal this time, so I need more beets. I need to grow more beets. I still have carrots left over, not enough beets. What an interesting problem. Still only got 12 soil plots. Oh, no. Bill, this is gonna be a process, okay? We're gonna be... We're gonna be best friends after this. We're gonna... Yeah, only 12 soil plots at a time, Bill. It's a... It's a bit of a situation. Still two waves. It's so weird to me that we got... We got this split. Just happens to be where the base got put down that there's a split, which means you always get two waves, which is sort of cool. Again, I don't know how much that's gonna matter. It might help us later on. Like, when we're in more complicated waves. They're both level 1, wave 3. I'm pretty sure raids max out at wave 3, and then they just continue. And then, of course, it's level 1, because we're growing only really basic crops. Not growing anything super advanced. So, uh, you know, not a huge deal. Of course, we missed one soil plot there. Yeah, we just gotta wait till the water recharges to get these two soil plots. That's the only unfortunate thing about this being as high up as it is. Is that the accuracy of those water jets is not great. Let's see if we can get this though. There we go, what is that? That work? Yeah, that's fine. It's honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I could move it lower, but eventually we're gonna have an automatic collecting system and an automatic planting system as well. So I figured we could put the water up as high as we could. And uh, it looks kinda cool when it's out of the way like that and it rains down from above, but yeah, it, it is sort of inefficient because we have to sometimes go back and forth just to get all the crops, but... Anyway, another 14 minutes to go, and then we'll, uh, deal with another raid, and then head back to Bill's and repeat. And maybe we'll eventually get this done. I really should put a bed right here, because beds apparently cushion your fall. That way we can jump down the ladder and not get killed. But anyway, let's grab the explosive. There we go. Perfect. And let's go and see if we can blow up this rock and get it out of the ground. Because it is the last rock of this node. There we go. See ya. It worked. It's gonna spawn. There it is. Perfect. Three rock nodes. Easy. We'll have to do a quick check with the lift at some point to make sure this is actually clear below the ground. But should be good to go. Three seconds left. Yeah, my crops are gonna get raided. Die, wolf. Thank you. Take your stuff. What else? Oh, they're spawning way over here. Oh, and it's raining. Interesting. You guys spawned way over here. Hi. Yeah, you're dead. No. No. There we go. Oh, it is trying to attack my... Look at that. Look at that. It's actually trying to get at my pump. Yeah, see, this is why we put Metal 3 around the pump, dude. Get wrecked. See, that's the kind of Metal 3 fence we need on the inside of the actual fence. Just a little a little thin layer. Can't get at the pump. That's perfect. Oh, yeah, I forgot to patch my wall. Doesn't... It's it's honestly... It's so excessive at this point. So much. All right, perfect. You're dead. Nothing over here. What about on this side? No bulls! That's weird. We're on, like, wave 3, and now it's not spawning bulls anymore. It was spawning consistently two bulls each time last time, and now there's no bulls. So, I really don't know how the raid calculator works in this. I know in Scrap Mechanic Survival, there's like a raid calculator website that a few people had made that actually will tell you exactly what kind of raids you're going to get based on, you know, what kind of crops you're growing and how many of them. But, I don't know if anybody's done that for the Crashlander Survival mod. I'm sure you could figure it out. But, either way, I think that's the end of that. And we'll just patch up the wall just to make sure... Everything's all good for next time. And then we'll, uh, we'll wait till these crops grow and go back to Bill's. 
but just really easy raids so far. Nothing super complicated. When we get bears, that's when that's when the raids are going to get a little tougher, I think. But I don't think we're going to get bears until we start growing more advanced crops than tier 1 stuff. Here we go. Time to find out what wave 5 is. Can you imagine? It just spawns a tape bot. It's just like, ah, I get wrecked. Just a tape bot just blasts you. I don't think this uh, this mod has tape bots even. I'm not sure. I mean, we found hay bots for the first time. No tote bots yet. Hay bots were in the HQ. And even then, it was just like the one hay bot, Hank, and his... Uh, experimented buddies what do we got here anything uh, wolves more wolves on that side another bull more wolves wolves and bulls that's it eh just wolves and bulls all right well let's go check the pump oh another bull over there all right let's check the pump first pumps fine yeah no see the pump always gets a wolf at it i wonder if i can make a retractable pump system the problem is the pipes are rigid and I don't think you can compress the pipes unless we made the whole system, like, including the actual storage containers on the piston as well. Alright, but it doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll kill this stuff. It also might never actually get more advanced than bulls and wolves until we start farming more advanced crops. That's probably what's going to happen. Like, I don't think we can get a bear on basic crops, no matter how many basic crops we grow. Whoa, the steaks are great though. Man, getting free steaks, that's that's key. Especially because we can turn steaks into quick food. Really, really convenient. I definitely I definitely need guns and armor though. Guns and armor might be a priority at some point in time here. Although I'm pretty sure armor takes like metal three. So we're gonna need a bunch of that stuff as well. But armor would just be would just be key because it actually reduces damage that you take. Alright, let's just drink up the sun shakes. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Didn't even get through the first, well, you got through the first layer, you didn't get through the, god dang it. I gotta pay more attention to my health, that doesn't matter, we're fine. Where are you? Let me take this stuff, take all that, thank you. Eh, excuse me, excuse me, whoa, bro, 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 chill, chill, let me get my stuff. Dead? Come on, come on, nice, alright, perfect. Drink the last sun shake, such a waste. That's the only bad thing about dying, is you waste so much food because you end up, you know, getting reset back to minimal health and then it takes food to regen your health back. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Okay, cool. Cool. How's this bull doing over here? Hey man, what's up? Oh, oh. Wrecked. Anyone, anyone else over on this side? No? Next side? Alright, let's go back over here. You know, honestly, I might not even have to make a metal three wall. I mean, this is, this is working out quite well. Uh, okay, sorry, that's not true. We gotta see what happens when the raids get more advanced. But, assuming the raids are, like, yeah, this wall needs to change, though. This needs to come up and go up really high. Because they're gonna run up, like, a bear is probably gonna run up this slope and then just climb right on over. But I think that's it. I think that's literally all we needed. Done. Put the wolf fern here. Four walk stakes. That's really, really good. That's going to make us a lot of walk patties. Let's just patch up some holes here with the wood. Going to have to make an automatic tree farm at some point too, so we can just have an infinite wood supply. I mean, we still have tons of wood, like even with this double layered thick wall. But an infinite wood supply would be very useful for, uh, for this kind of stuff. I actually want to build, uh, do I have the resources to build a bed? I think I do. Oh, you don't make it here. That's right. You make it at the carpenter bench. Here. Yeah, tons. Look, short wooden beam, cotton, ridiculous. And then we can also make, um, a ton of cotton here. Yeah, from wolf pelt. Let's just set that to repeat. Let's just dump all the wolf pelt in here. There we go. So that'll just get done. Grab more wolf pelt. I honestly don't know. I know you need wolf pelt to make wolf armor, but I think we're past that at this point because we unlocked the better armor. So we're going to have to get that at some point. Don't think I'm really going to bother getting wolf armor. I actually burned through a whole stack of... Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. It's right there. I burned through a little bit of wood. Not a whole stack. All right. So that's that. That's good. You're going to craft that. You're crafting cotton. Bed done. Nice. And then... Is that it? That's it, right? Yeah, okay. So now if we take this bed, and we put the bed down here, should be able to just sort of jam it 
like this. There we go. And now if we go all the way up to the top... And then if we're like, hey, I want to jump down quickly, we can do this. And... Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Falling on it doesn't damage it, nor does it tumble you. Well, that's just a lie now, isn't it? That, I fell right on it, and it definitely did damage me. Uh, let's try that again. Maybe I had it placed wrong. I, I fell directly on that. It definitely did 100% tumble me. What is this? Oh, well now it... The heck? Why did it not work the first time? This is weird. I don't understand why that didn't work. Here, let me just put it this way instead. Maybe it was because I missed it? I don't know. Let's put it that way. Let's try that again. Does it work this time? Come down to here. Jump. Now. Okay, weird. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's set up. Perfect. Alright, what's up, Bill? I'm back. Here to get more soil from you. Thanks, dude. What's up? Trade. Coal. Yes, please. Give me a ton of coal. Thank you very much. That was actually perfect. Got rid of all my beets. Look at that. Two and a half stacks of coal. And, uh, let's get some soil. Just, just tons of soil. Alright, how much is that? Another 30... 46... Ooh, this might actually be enough. Uh, no. No, wait. Though, there's no way. One more after this. One more grow after this, and it'll for sure be enough. So let's just head on back, and then we'll have to deal with two raids, because we're gonna have to deal with this raid, and then the crops are gonna grow tomorrow, and it won't be enough time, and then we'll have to deal with the next raid. I think you have, like, four minutes. I'm pretty sure the raids start at 4 a.m. Like, that's when the game calculates if you have a raid. At least that's how it worked in vanilla. I'm pretty sure it was 4, maybe 4.30. So if you do grow crops, like, starting at midnight, and then you harvest them right after you defeat the raid, um, then you won't get a second raid, I think is how it works, if I remember correctly. So I'm pretty sure the mod probably uses that same mechanic, which means, like, because of our timing and our offset, um, we're gonna have crops growing through two raids, so no matter what, we'll have to do this raid, and then one more at least, assuming this is all the crops we need. I think it's, I think this is gonna be enough, to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last set. 46 soil that time, though. That was pretty good. It doesn't seem like that much, because the, the field itself seems pretty small, but then you realize, like, you know, math is a thing, right? So it's like, you know, if you have 10 by 10, that's 100. And it's it doesn't, like, 10 by 10 doesn't look like much, but it's actually a lot of, of actual plots. And, which means it's a lot of crops, which is absolutely great. There we go. Perfect. Two, one. I always like making big farms in this game, too. It's always so nice to have a nice big expansive farm all right so that's that and one more here okay so how many left we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we're ten by one two three four five six seven so we need 70 minus one we need 69 crop plots left nice oh no my crops are under attack oh i got hit off the wall excuse me is it just wolves again Wolves, 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 lots of wolves, lots of wolves. Is there a bull in my pond? Hello? I saw one bull there. No, nobody's going for the pump still. Wolves, wolves, couple bulls. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Oh boy. You guys are really just... It's so funny, I'm not even worried about the wall. Another bull. And then, oh, lots of bulls. Okay, okay, this is actually... There's actually... Oh, hi guys! How's... Oh no, the lag! Oh, there's so many of you! Hey, what's up? What's up? We're just gonna keep backing up. We're just- Hi, how are you? I wish I could tame you guys and have an army that would fight the rest. Oh my god, that knocked me so high in the air. I'm gonna die, but it's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, you guys go back to attacking the wall. That's a good idea. Nope, nope, back at me. Alright, there's- Okay, yeah, there's too many of you. Please tell me. Yeah, okay, good. I still slept in a bed. Thank goodness. Alright, not enough people- I, I don't know why it gives me that message every time. Doesn't matter. It's trying to, like, skip time forward, but you can't anyway, because there's a raid going on, so... Alright, hi. Yeah, we're gonna die. I understand. Okay, you're dead. Ugh, oh, god dang it. We're just gonna keep- It's just gonna be, like, a death cycle over and over again. But it doesn't really matter. Can't- I can't fight them from up here. You can get one hit on them, and then they hit you back, which is weird. It's like the devs, I don't know if the, the mod makers did that on purpose, or if that's just a, a way the like, scrap mechanic works with physics, but it's almost like, like it's purposely set up so you can't just cheese them from hitting them from above. Or maybe I just need to make the wall a little taller and then it would work. 
Either way, let's just kill the stuff on this side. That's a lot. This is actually a lot of stuff. Still only wolves and bulls, though. Oh my god, I'm just dying. Everywhere. Left, right, and center. It honestly does not matter, though. Yeah, you're dead. No. Oh. oh my god. Oh no. Oh no! Back up! Back up! Back up! I, uh, I have died a lot this fight. You guys still aren't even through the first layer of wood, though. That's good. Okay. No problem. I feel like after this raid, before we farm the next time, I might have to actually, you know, get some armor and some weapons. Like, if we had a gun, I could just go boom, 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 and you'd all be dead. Like, just walk along the wall here. Oh, see, no, the wall just needs to be taller. Oh, no, see, look, I was so high up on that guy, he still manages to hit me. It's almost like they have just an automatic, like, hit back response. It's weird. Alright, just, everybody just die, please. We're gonna gather lots of walk stakes, which is good. I have a steady supply of hamburger patties for a bit. Okay, just, yeah, nope. Die, excuse me. Anytime, nice. Gather all this, let's just grab some of these, take that. Perfect, let's grab this bag as well. Done. Let's eat some walk steaks. I know I'm still, like, they're still attacking me, it's fine. Oh! Oh, no, 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 did you see that? Did that bull get in? Oh, bro, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 you guys can't be climbing up the roots. I need to make this wall taller. Can't be climbing up the roots, man, that's not cool. That's not part of the deal. You have to get through the wall first. That's the way this is supposed to work. Whoops, I'm accidentally deleting the wall. There we go. Yeah, they did some damage this time. All right, is that it? More on the other side, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build this way taller. They, they like, climbed up on this and then almost made it over. That would have been horrible. One animal gets in there, the entire crop field is wrecked. No, okay, we're good. I think that's it. Wow, that was, uh, that was intense. That was the, the biggest fight yet. We're gonna have one more, too, which is gonna be even bigger, probably. But, yeah, it should be fine. All right, the crops have grown. Let's just gather all these real quick. This is awesome. It's so great to have actual crops now. Now we're never gonna starve. Like, I'm, I'm once I've gotten these all grown and we've gotten the field fully set up, it's just gonna be, like, growing a whole thing of beets, and then that'll be our food until we get to the point where we can go and get all the other crop seeds and grow them all out, which will be a whole other, a whole other thing to do, to be honest, to get the rest of the crop seeds and, and get all that set up. But then once we've got that going, then we'll be able to just mass produce veggie burgers and then it'll be great. I mean, look at how many seeds we were already, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I want to have at least, you know, ideally 240 of each seed so we could grow an entire field of any one particular crop if we really wanted to do that. Although, to be honest, there's some crops we probably never grow a full field of. Like, we're not going to ever grow 240 broccoli, I don't think. Or, like, 240 pineapples. I mean, maybe. It doesn't matter. It'd still be nice to have it all anyway. But there we go. Get this, uh, is the terrain here kind of... Whatever, I can still grab that. That's fine. All right, let's grab all this. We don't have much time. I did have to go and get some oil uh, from the nearby lake just because I needed uh, needed some gas for the car. So I got some oil and did that while I was waiting for these to grow. So there we go. Perfect. Let's go over to Bill's real quick. Trade this up. We got six minutes. We're fine. I mean, at the end of the day, like, nothing's really broken in yet. So even if we show up a little late to the raid, it's just about getting the last field planted. Although this might be it, to be honest. This actually, this might be it. That's true. I might not have to plant. If we can get 69 soil plots out of this, I don't know if it's going to be enough. But if we can get 69 soil plots, then I don't have to plant anymore. So that's going to be the, uh, the million dollar question is... Are we going to get enough soil plots to finish this, or are we going to have to grow one more day's worth of crops? So, we'll find out. I don't, I don't know. I probably should have been paying attention to doing some math. That would have made this a lot easier, but screw that, you know. What's up, Bill? You got more soil for me? I know you do. You got lots of soil. I'm going to eat, uh, no, let's, let's trade. What's up? Can I trade? 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 Nice. All right, let's just, let's just max that out. Okay, so that's all that. Lots of coal, perfect. How many soil plots? Okay, so this is for two, so... This is gonna be two times 20... Oh, it's not gonna be enough. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 
That's it. 40. Ugh. And I can eat the one carrot. All right. Gotta come back. One more day of growing. And then we can... Do I have enough coal? I do not have enough coal for it. So one more day of growing. We need 29 more soil plots to finish up this project. I'm not gonna finish it halfway. Gotta, gotta do the full thing or not at all. I mean, it's just ridiculous if you don't finish the full farm. So... 20 more crops, here we go. Alright, get the rest of these beets planted, let's go! And then we gotta kill wave 4 level 3 and wave 6 level 3, or level 6 wave 3, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna be a ton of wolves, is my guess. That seems to be what we're getting, is lots of wolves, maybe the occasional bull. Perfect, let's get more beets, oh my god. I need, I definitely am gonna need a lot of, uh, a lot of storage chests for farming related things. There we go, perfect. Alright. And... One more. Done. That's it. That should be the last- oh, are you serious? It didn't get that one? Oh, no. No, go back, go back. There we go, just pulse that. Got it, perfect. Nice! That is it! Alright. Let's grab the truck, really quickly. Oof, cutting it close this time. There we go, that's gonna be a nice little field. This field still looks so pathetic, it's unbelievable. Like, it looks like the tiniest little field ever, but this is perfect. Like, if you even had a big server with a lot of people on it, this is a ton of crops. Like, this is, 240 crops is a lot of crops. It just looks super small. I mean, when Cosmo and I had our field, it was thousands of crops, it was insane. Let's go. Couple bulls over there. Wolf there, wolf there, wolf there, wolf there. Okay. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, no, they seem to automatically hit you no matter how high up you are. Alright, I'm gonna go make sure the pump's okay, because I saw a bunch of you guys coming over here by the pump. We're just gonna bait you guys away from the pump so that you don't go smack my pump accidentally. Okay. The bulls are actually kind of, kind of weird, because sometimes their pathing does stupid stuff. Because of the way, like, like, look, they're running away from me, so I just get free hits on them. That was nice. Alright, more wolves here, more bulls. Oh, that was not good. Took too many hits. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you guys go back towards the base. Nice. Another one. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kinda... Oh, this isn't gonna help me any. I gotta wait till I regen a little bit of health. You can see, though, as we regen health, we lose food. That's sort of how this system works. Oh, perfect. Alright, got you. I haven't even checked the other side yet. There's probably a lot more stuff on the other side. Nice. Dead. Yeah, no, just hit you in the butt while you're walking away. Oh, no, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Yeah, god dang it, I knew that was coming. How is the other side? Nice, more walk meat. Nice, nice. I should probably actually save some walk meat because I'm pretty sure there's a side quest that asks you for a bunch of walk meat, but I also need food, so... Alright, done. Holy cow, you guys are just going to work. Oh, hey, how what's up? The blueberries are respawned, nice. Okay, perfect. You guys are dead. Oof, took a chunk out of that wall. Can you, can you come attack me? Come on, let's go. This will be so much easier with guns. Yeah, I'm dead. God dang it, I shouldn't have eaten. Shouldn't, I don't even know why I'm eating. It doesn't give me any health. It just gives me more food. Oh my, really? Wow, that guy, that guy killed me real quick. Alright, excuse me. Hey, what's up? 
Oh my, what? Dude, this cow is ridiculous. This bull's like invincible. You've gotten hit so many times, dude. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Can you die? Thank you. Useless. I'm gonna fry you up and enjoy eating your steak. 100%. All right, there's got to be more over here, right? You guys have been... Oh, they got... They went ham on this side. Dang, buddy, you're already into the wall. Oh, they, they've got actually into the metal wall. That's... Cr okay, this is getting... This is getting ridiculous. Next time I do a major crop grow, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a gun first. Because this is actually insane. But yeah, they actually got into the metal wall on this side. That's crazy. Holy cow. Okay, you know what? I'm going gonna to calm down. I'm going to calm down. Just gonna, just gonna relax, gonna breathe. Gonna take all this. Gonna go eat myself some steak over here. There we go, get some health back. Oh, it does give me a bit of health. Oh, not a lot of health, but it does give me a bit. Okay, let's grab the blueberries. Or the forest berries, or whatever they're called. Do these give me health too? No. Just a tiny amount of... Oh, wow. You guys actually knocked through there. That's crazy. Broke through that section. Broke through that section. Uh. What? Where? What happened to the... Excuse me? Where'd the rest go? There was still stuff to kill, wasn't there? My crops will be raided. Yeah, I know my crops are gonna get raided because I'm still growing crops. Level 6 wave 1 again. I don't know. I don't understand this. Level 4 wave 1. We just had level 6 wave 3 and level 4 wave 3. Now we're back to 2 wave 1s. So I don't I don't understand how that works. But what happened to the rest of the dudes? There were more dudes that we didn't kill. Alright, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to question it. As long as they're not in my crop field, I don't really care. I gotta patch this up. Need more metal 1 to fix the inside of this. But dang, man, they did some serious damage this time. Holy cow. That was insane. That was actually insane. I just need better weaponry, that's all. And also better combat skills. I know there's a ton of people right now who are just like, Con, you just suck at fighting stuff. Because there's like a proper way to kite them. I think it's like if you go back and to the right, like if you keep spinning back to the right, they struggle to hit you. I think is how it works. But I'm not really great at it, so doesn't really matter. The double layer wall was definitely a smart idea. All right, perfect. This is gonna be sweet. The final raid, and then I need 29 more soil plots, which means we'll have to buy 30, and then we'll just have them all placed out here. How did I end up with an odd... Oh, I probably got, like, a soil plot from a stupid, uh, a stupid chest or something. I was like, how the heck do I have an odd number? Because, like, you always get them in pairs of two, and even when you craft them, you craft them in pairs of two. But yeah, I probably found one in a chest or something. And ended up with an odd number that way. So, no big deal. But this will be the final the final raid for a bit anyway. And then we'll have to uh, do some serious rearranging of the farm. To actually, um, you know, have, have space to store all this stuff for when we do harvest in the future. And then, of course, we got to make a whole automatic harvesting system. And an automatic planting system. And, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. Automatic planting is going to be a pain. Because you need a lot of vacuum pumps to plant. To harvest, you probably only need one that just, like, kind of goes back and forth. But ideally, like, with a harvesting and planting system, you sort of... It's it's better, I think, to just combine them. Because you just have it, like, harvest in front and then plant in behind. And then, no matter what, like, as long as you put, like, the planter chest empty and don't put any seeds in it, then it won't plant anything. And if there's seeds in the planting chest, then it'll plant a bunch of stuff, right? So that's sort of how I did it before. Worked out pretty well. Um, although it was very, very slow because the vacuum pumps were slow to plant. But, in this mod, the vacuum pumps are super quick for pumping water, so maybe they're also super quick for planting. I, I honestly don't know. Alright, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Bull over there. I'm gonna go deal with the stuff on this side first. Just cause it kinda put a big hole in it last time. A lot of wolves on this side. Oh my god, a lot of wolves just in general. Hi guys, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna... Hi, can we just... Can we go over here? Okay. Let's just... Let's just back up and do lazy circles to the right. I don't think the circle trailing method necessarily works when you have this many wolves, though, because they kind of cut you off. 
and they like shove off each other. Yeah, I'm dead. They sort of shove off each other and they, they sort of prevent you from actually uh I'm actually getting there. Not enough people. Yeah, I know there's not enough people to sleep. Yo, what's up, Bolt? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was stupid. That was stupid. Stop. Stop. Oh, God, get me out of here. Let's go. Over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's more bulls there. Okay, cool. What's up? Oh, a lot of bulls this time. Yeah, I'm curious how this two-wave thing is going to play out in the future. The fact that our crops are just, like, right across, basically right across state lines is kind of interesting. So we're gonna have to see how that goes in the future. I I don't know. I've never had that before whenever I've made crop farms. They always do Well, that's not true. The mega farm I did with Cosmo, I think, had two spawns. But I mean it was it was it was massive. You'd kind of expect that. So, you know. That's sort of sort of the way it goes. Oh, what the that's five bulls? Excuse me? That is a lot of bulls. Alright, uh that's a problem. Jeez, there wasn't even that many bulls last time, and it was like wave six. Look at, the, look at them all. They don't care, though. There's no crops for you guys to attack. Oh! Is your path thing all messed up because there's nothing for you to kill? Is that the problem? Like, did I remove the targets? Do they not? Like, they probably don't know what to attack if there's no crops for them to attack. Oh, that's so great. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, no, they're still attacking the wall. Never mind. Hey, what's up? Come on. Come on. The re range on this sword is insane. Like, the reach on it is so good. Doesn't even look like it's gonna hit, and then it just hits anyway from a million miles away. Alright, we're gonna have a full inventory here in a sec. Yeah. Oh, God dang, man. They hit like a freaking... I need armor. This game is designed for you to have armor. Like, this mod, they want you to have armor for sure. And I don't have any armor except this stupid wolf head. So, I'm definitely gonna have to actually, like, god dang. <laughs> this bed doesn't work as much as I would think. I'm pretty sure we're glitching through the bed into the ground and we're bouncing off the ground. Like, I, I think that's what's happening, but yeah, it, it does not work the way you would expect it to. Let me take all that. Dude, you're just charging away. Oh my god, I can't kill them! I cannot kill them! Please, moles, just die already. All right, we're gonna go down here, grab this bag first. This is all our other stuff. Yes, take all that, thank you. All right, come here. Hey, bolts, bolts. One at a time. You're dead, perfect. Next, you. Oh, wolf, okay. Oh, more wolves. I don't know where you came from. Dead, nice. You gonna turn around? You gonna turn around. Interesting. Oh. Okay, nice, nice. Another kill. How many more left? They seem to get crushed up there, too. Like, I don't kill anybody up... Okay, I, I'm just... I'm terrible. I've died. I don't even know what the death count is this episode. It's pretty bad. Thank God there's, like, really no penalty for death other than having to go get your stuff. Which, like, obviously by the base is not really a huge deal. Um... But yeah, like, I, I don't... They keep dying up here. Like, something... I think they get up into here, and then they fall into this, like, crevice, and then they die on their own. Yo, they just despawned again. What? Yo, there's, like, a despawn. There's an actual... Like, 100%, there's a despawn. As soon as a certain time comes up. Like, what time is it on the log now? Four? So I guess as soon as four o'clock rolls around, the wave just disappears. I don't ever remember that in vanilla, like in regular scrap mechanic. I was, I'm pretty sure when you were playing regular scrap mechanic, if you spawned a raid, the raid was there until you killed all the bots. But I don't know, they seem to have some weird thing where like they disappear and they don't come back. I don't know what the deal is with that. I wonder if they come back the next night. I guess we'll find out the next night. I don't know. It won't be this episode, though, because, uh, you know, I'm gonna, gonna basically just finish the farm here. We're not gonna have a raid. Maybe they come back in the next raid? But yeah, there were definitely, like, four bulls left over there. And, like, a couple wolves. And now there's, now there's nothing. That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Really, really interesting stuff. All right. Easy, I guess. So, that, that just means that, like... Realistically, couldn't we just not fight any wave at all? Like, do we even really have to fight a raid? Couldn't we just avoid them and just, you know, have a durable enough wall that they can't get through? 
And then, you know, when, when the next day comes, they're just, they're all gone. Seems like that's what we could do, which would be literally the easiest way to defend from raids. Just make a huge metal three wall and your base is invincible forever. And then it doesn't matter how many guys spawn. Well, that's something interesting. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what the heck's going on with that. I've never seen that before in, in regular survival. Mind you, in regular survival, um, I usually, like, had guns and killed all the waves before something major happened. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't notice that that was happening. But yeah, that that's time for sure stuff definitely despawned. And I for sure cannot drive for some reason. Alright, Bill. What's up? Bet you're tired of seeing me. How's it going, trade? Yeah, I'm gonna max out the coal again, because just having coal is great. That's so fantastic. And we got five beats left. Look at all this coal now. Oh my god, that's so good. That's just, that's fantastic. That's like all the coal we'll ever need. I mean, not really. We're always gonna need more coal, but it's it's kind of nice. And then I can come back and get more and more and more coal, just grow up a ton of beets. Uh, and then I need 30 soil plots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. Actually just enough. Are you serious? Thank God I grew the number of carrots I did. Holy cow. If I had grown literally like three less carrots, then we would have been screwed. That's insane. There we go. Three, two, oh yeah. This is more than enough. Perfect. Done. Unbelievable. And there we go. Awesome. Let's water the whole thing just because. Oops. Actually, I should go back first. I'm going to have to turn on the water again too. So let's go do that. But yeah, we'll just water the whole thing. I'll throw this extra soil plot somewhere. I can just, you know what, let's just, there we go, look at that, nice little soil bag, doesn't really matter, don't really need it, and then I guess we can cook the rest of these wok steaks into more food, because we do need some food, and now we've got 10 wok steaks and some beets, throw the paint flour in there, keep our wood, and we're just gonna throw, let's put our coal in one of these chests, there we go, throw all the coal in there, perfect. It's not bad. Three stacks of coal and then some. That's pretty good. That's that's going to be super useful, especially when we start converting stuff to metal. And then uh, there we go. Let's run that out. Eat some beets. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That took way too long. Like, way longer than I thought it would. I just realized, too, farm crops actually have a direction. Like, look, you can see some of them are, like, pointing left to right, and some of them are pointing up to down. I am not going to delete it to fix it. I never noticed that until now, and hi. How are you doing? Hi, hi, guys. Um, you want to maybe not and, like, pretend that you didn't, and then, you know, just kind of leave me alone? Thanks, dudes. Appreciate it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Crazy long episode for me to record. Um, like, literally hours uh, just to get through all the raids and stuff. But uh, obviously, I'll be able to reduce that time a little bit. And yeah, I can't believe all these crops have different angles. I'm, I'm literally not going to not notice that now. But I'm not going to fix it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm super happy with this farm now. I know it, it doesn't look like much. Uh, whoops, that's got to go on. Got to just get that last... I got to see that last crop plot. There we go. Look at that. That's just perfect. But yeah, I'm super happy with how the farm turned out. It's great. We got lots of space now for crops. We're gonna have to make a little thing over here. Lower it down and, you know, bring up all of our stuff. Have more pistons for that. So we're gonna need more pistons. Definitely gonna need a refining vehicle and stuff like that. But this is super good. Like, 240 crops. I mean, you know, we're gonna be able to grow literally whatever the heck we want. And, uh, of course, we're gonna have to get producing veggie burgers as soon as possible. Because that's gonna be super critical and then uh you know figure out what the heck happens to these raids reinforce the wall a little bit more and then figure out why the raids keep disappearing because that's just kind of weird i don't know if they come back the next night or what the deal is with that but yeah let me know what you guys think make sure of course you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time